Okay. So um, quickly move into the next concept. Uh, this is what is known as the Harrison's sulcus. Harrison's sulcus. Right? So for this Harrison's sulcus, it's also known as well, Harrison's groove. <coughs> Harrison's sulcus, Harrison's groove. Okay. So you can see this. Like, will I say, above your stomach, there's like a groove there. It's usually not supposed to be there. You understand? Know so if you see there, definitely there are some problems coming up, okay? So what we're saying here is this. <coughs> Harrison's sulcus could also be known as Harrison's groove. This is another picture, you understand? There's like a ridge there, passage. So it's a horizontal depression along the lower border of the chest wall, typically at the site of attachment of the diaphragm to the ribs, okay? is most commonly observed in children with conditions that usually weaken the bones all right or conditions that have caused what chronic respiratory issues so you have been struggling to breathe to the level that what it shows up like this you understand so causes could be rickets so due to vitamin d deficiency so your bones are actually weak and pliable chronic respiratory diseases like severe asthma Okay, obstructive airway diseases, congenital heart diseases, alright? So there's increased respiratory efforts because maybe there's like lung congestion in that congenital heart disease. So clinical features is the groove is actually visible or palpable along the lower rib, you get it may be accompanied with other conditions. So you once you see the ridge, you don't stop there, you check out for other things. So the more things you see, the more it will now give you an idea of what is actually wrong, you okay? get? So diagnosis is just clinical examination, then x-rays, blood tests, because you want to check out for calcium and vitamin D levels. So management is, is usually caused by something, all right? So you identify the underlying cause, then you make progress with that, okay? So that's it for this.